that how you fight? What's wrong? Left your guns back there, boys. I knew you'd bring them. Take this. Are they not done yet? No, man. They're not going to leave until they take everything in the houses. You should have grabbed his head and knew his legs and taken him to the doctor. Right now, the guys are at their houses trying to bring a car full of pills, syrups, and medicine. Take this. Listen, Ahmad, stay here with the things. Jafar and I will go and help them. Okay, let's go, go Jafar. On. Okay, let's go. We're off, God bless. Do you need any help? Listen, man, where the hell have you been? We went and emptied all the supermarkets, so when the Iraqis get here, they'll leave empty-handed. Was the medicine in there, too? There's no medicine in the supermarkets. We can't heal the wounds of the injured in the hospital with chocolates. None of the things you found are useful to us, brother. Here is the medicine. Put everything you find here in that car and take them. I'm going to join him, Matt. Listen. There's more medication in this house than I've seen in some hospitals. Whose place is this? It's an old lady's place who's always sick. Who's Dr. Falahard Piché? A pharmacist back in my neighborhood, in my shop. Listen, Abdul Reza, aren't you planning on getting rid of the gun? He's going to shoot the Bahathist crows with it. <laughs> what do the Bahathist crows sound like, Abdul Reza? Take this and I'll tell you. al Kaha, al Kaha. Yesterday, Ahmad told me that he was going to bring me a gun tonight. I told him it better be an Uzi. I don't consider other guns weapons, you know? So I told him I'd either use an Uzi or my own shotgun. Yeah? So we can't get the injured out of here tonight. We can't bring any cars out of there tonight. Ahmad said the place is full of Iraqis. If they decide to locate their forces there, how are we going to get the cars out of there? We have to wait until tomorrow night. Ahmad was clever to find out what they're up to. You're forgetting he's a Navy commando. It's not a joke. Hey, Mud, I'm going to tell you something, but you have to be careful not to tell the others. Boss, when the car gets here and we load it up, you, me, and Abdul Reza will take the old car and leave. Is something wrong? We have to take the guys to Janatabad. The graveyard of Janatabad? Yes. Which guys? Mustafa, Saeed, and the others. But I thought that they were killed at the railway. We got their bodies out of there. Where are they now? At my place. What about the bodies of those killed in Saranier and Sadaskar? Nothing. We did everything we could. The place is packed with Iraqis. The car's here. Jahan, hang on, hang on! Guys, come on, let's load up the cartons. Open up the trunk. Get out. Get Grab out. this. Go on. Go on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Take these. Put these back there. Oh. Give it to me. Injured out of the room and take them to the hallway. It's much safer there. Come on, go to your room. Go on in. Bring the wounded out here. Come on, hurry up, man. Ladies and gentlemen, this room's targeted by the enemies. God forbid, if they throw in a bomb, you'll all get killed. Go, go. Get out of here now. Get out, get out. Ahmad, Ahmad, Mossen, come in. Ahmad, Ahmad, Mossen, come in. Do you have any news? Use the stairs. Come on, hurry. Hurry. We can't do the job tonight. Tonight and tomorrow, the place is filled with Iraqis. Calm down. Godspeed, man. Over. Let's go. Where have you been? To get medicine. Is that it? No, there's a couple of big cartons downstairs. We'll bring them up Where's later. Where's Saleh? He's with Abdul Reza and Emad. All right. Go help Deris out. Hurry up. OK. Hurry, come on out. Come on out. Come on, sit down over there. Come on. Come on, ma'am. OK. You sit right there. Where have you been, man? Where have you been? Come on. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, Is Allah. that medicine?
martyr tonight. Why not? Not religiously right. Is it, Abdul Reza? I don't know much about that. Do you want us to go to Janatabad graveyard in the day so we can get buried with them? I say we should take them and bury them someplace else. It's not like there's nowhere else to bury them. It's not like we have to bury them in Janatabad. We don't need your opinion. Abdul Reza, follow me. Why are you standing there? Come on already. Ah. Abdul Reza. Ah. Come on. Slowly, Abdul Reza. Abdul Reza. I'll kill you. Are you Iraqi or Iranian? Iranian. That's even worse. Are you spying on us for the Iraqis? Who? Me? Yes, you. How much did they pay you to spy on us for them? Who? Oh, very cute. Are you trying to play me? A thousand like you can take that dream with them to their grave. Are you armed? No, I'm not armed. I do have a biscuit. I can give it to you if you want. Put your hands on your head slowly and come toward me. I'm Sayyid Khalil's relative. Who is Sayyid Khalil? The station commander. Which station? There's the station. So tell me, buddy, were you spying on us? Are you okay? I was sitting in that store eating a biscuit. Stop talking. Answer the questions I ask you. The brother's house must have blown up. He didn't have anywhere to go. So he came and took shelter in the store. Do you know him? Yeah, I know him. Let him go. What are you doing, Ahmad? I told you to go and get a blanket so I can wrap Saeed up in it, but you're just standing there and talking. Who's he? He's Saeed Khalil's family. Hurry up. We have to bury the guys before the sun comes. I'll go get some blankets from my place. Where were they killed? At the railway station. How many were they? There were a lot, but unfortunately we could only get out these four. Look, I'm sorry I treated you like that. The number of enemies has increased so much, sometimes I don't even trust myself anymore. These rascals can do absolutely anything. So, are you looking for your brother-in-law? Why are you asking? If you go down to the mosque, you can get some information. Are the families staying in the mosque? Some of them. Tell me, what about your friend's family, Emmards? I don't know them. But I saw him talking to a couple of people at the school. I'd say they were family, if you ask me. School? Yeah. Where's the school? I don't know. You should ask Saleh. Are you going there? Yeah. When we're done burying the martyr in Janat Abad graveyard, we'll go over there. Stop talking so much, and come and help me put Saeed in the car. If you're looking for your brother-in-law, you should go to the mosque. Take that street and go straight ahead. You can see its pillars. Come on. Grab his legs. Grab his legs, Abdul Reza. I got him. Put him up! Put him up! Let us go!
right. That poor guy doesn't want to do anything. You don't know what he's after. It doesn't matter what he's after. He's not a Bahadur. He's a guest. I really hate unexpected guests like him. You're starting to get way ahead of yourself. Go tell him I said if he sets foot inside, I'll break both his legs. Go on. Crazy. Don't upset yourself. That's how he and his family are. They're all full of rage. Once they cool off a bit, well, they're much easier to talk to. Give it a little bit of time. He'll come around. Abdul Reza? Yes? Bring our guest inside. Why does that guy hate you so much? I don't know. Let's go inside. By the way, I think this is yours. Why do you have that? When you were burying the martyred, it fell off your neck. It's my lucky charm. My mother gave it to me so they won't get shot or anything. By the way, our room is downstairs. We've taken the wounded upstairs, so if the Iraqis attack us, we can stand against them and defend ourselves. Why don't you come rest a little? No, look. Where have they taken the families? They're all upstairs. So is it okay if I go upstairs? Go. Thank you. Hey! If you're looking for food, I can find you something to eat here. Okay, thank you. Thanks for this, Hassan. all day, but apparently nobody there is listening to what I'm saying. The hell with talking in codes. I don't have a book of codes with me in the middle of all this chaos. Come on! Listen, I want four cars. The number of injured is high. I've sent away some in Carissa's car. Stop saying customs. Custom so much, man. We might not be able to get the cars out of here. All right, all right. Over, over. I wasn't finished talking to you. Didn't your family leave town? They absolutely did. But the thing I'm going to tell you has nothing to do with my family. I don't understand what you're talking about. Are those poor people that are up there any different from our own families? Well, no. Thank goodness, that's what I'm trying to say. I think it's not right for anyone who just feels like it to come in here and walk around these women and children and make fun of us. I don't understand what you're talking about. Oh, I'm just so annoying. I've been talking to you for an hour and you still don't get it. Wait here for a minute. I'll go get Saleh. He might understand what you're saying. We've gathered all the things that are useful in one corner, especially Habib's merry-go-round. We buried it in a hole and dug up Najmeh's place. You can find out where it's buried when you put the palm tree leaves aside. Don't say it like that, man. There might be someone from Tehran here who doesn't know what the leaves of a palm tree look like. Just say they're big leaves. You mean the people of Tehran don't know what the palm trees look like? How are we supposed to know? They know it, man. Stop saying they don't know what they look like. Man is right. Instead of wasting your time on things like that, rewind the tape so we can see our voices have been recorded. Come on, man, hurry. Yes, what's up? What are they doing? Nothing. They've lost their minds. They're recording their voices. Go and see what's wrong with him, man. I don't get a word he's saying. What's he saying? He's gone cuckoo. He's talking nonsense. You can find out where he's buried when you put the bomb he leaves aside. Okay, what's going on again? What's wrong? You're really enjoying all this about my family, aren't you? You find it all to be so interesting, don't you? You're crazy. Oh, people, I'm talking to you. Listen, I'm crazy. I'm out of my mind. 
But I am going to teach that boy a lesson. Listen to me, I'm not crazy. I promise you. situation. Give, give her to me. Salih, do something for her. Do something. Get out of the way. What's the matter with you? Brother. Hold on, hold on. She's all right. She's all right. She's fine. What's wrong? What's wrong with her? The kid can't die. I'll get you all out of here. Just wait until tomorrow morning. Be patient. Please be patient. She's all right. What's the matter with you? Brother, Be patient. Brother, what's wrong with my hang on, Help hang her. on, ma'am. She's, She's all right. She's all right. Son, will we go when Haji's done praying? We'll spend the night here. <clears throat> we'll leave in the morning. Why in the morning? There's only 170 to 80 kilometers left. I've been driving for 10 hours straight. I'm tired. It's only two hours away. Even if there's only 10 minutes left, I can't do it. I'm tired. I can't keep my eyes open. Let your father drive. My father doesn't drive at night. Well, let me drive. <laughs> it's a quirky car. Not everyone can drive it. I'm a great driver. I'll figure it out once I drive it for 10 meters. so slow, and if the Iraqis knew that, they wouldn't have gotten caught behind the railway station square. What would have happened if they did? Nothing. They would have broken your ribs with a kick. Hold this. Give me that. Come on already. Why did you hit me, man? Because you're acting like a jerk. Move it. Tell the rest to come along. It means you guys too. What's wrong with He's you? He's right, Saleh. You're so tired, it feels like you're on your way to Kotashik and have an ice cream. Hurry up. And you're running like the wind, right? Does the wind run? It does. Now move, you idiot. You'll die if you don't talk, won't you? Either seriously blind or you're acting blind. Huh? Can't you see what's going on around you? What are you trying to prove by following me in the middle of all this chaos? Look, kid, if you think I'm afraid of your gun or this war, then you're damn wrong. If this war buries you, me, and everyone in this city, I'll come out from under the ground, take my mother and father's hand, and come and ask Arefe to marry me. And I'll have my wedding day in that alley so those who are jealous of us can die of jealousy. And if you want, I can dig you up so you can be my best man. I can't believe how cheeky and annoying you are. Look, I'm cheeky. I am what I am. Trust me, I'm not going to leave you alone until I get the answer to my question, whether you like it or not. My parents and sister went to Abadan. Where in Abadan? They said they'd go someplace else from there. Where? I don't know. Stop asking me all these questions. How can I go to Abadan? Go to the mosque, find Haj Sharif, and tell him Imad sent you. He'll help you go to Abadan. I don't know how to get to the mosque on my own. Didn't I give you the address last night? Take the street and go straight ahead. You'll find the pillars of the mosque. He told you last night, but he was bluffing. This city is so full of smoke, you can't even see a step forward, let alone the pillars. Could you just stop talking, please? And could you just do your job instead of playing hide and seek? Go on, I'll be there soon. 
Just get lost right now. You follow me one more time and I see you. If the war doesn't bury you, I certainly will. Look, Emad, you and I are going to be family sooner or later. It's not right for you to talk to your family like that. Don't take it so seriously. He's a bit crazy. Get the hell out of here. Hello. Hello. Why'd you take that car and bring it here? Car, there's trucks here. That can be opened easily. Opening and starting this one's much harder. Are the guys Everyone's here? Everyone's inside. All right, let's go. Here you go, Abdul Reza. This is the gun I promised you. Wow, it's such a cool gun. Thank you very much, Ahmad. Though we weren't bluffing. Uzi, Uzi, that's what you're talking about? Is that better, or your own gun? like a J3 with its tail cut off. It's better than that pickaxe. It's not a pickaxe, you moron. It's a short fear. Whatever. Your gun has been out of trend even at the time of Reza Khan. That's enough. We're about to start. Who knows how to drive? I do. Me. I do too. Stop bluffing. If we're not able to pull it off, we'll have to pay for it. We don't need more than five truck drivers. Me, Ahmad, Abdul Reza, Ahmad and Jahan. The rest can put their hands down. He means you too. So stop holding up your finger like a nail. Hafez. Yes? You said you could open a car door without keys. It's a piece of cake for me. How long does it take? Once you count to ten, it'll be over. How long will it take to start the car? Two seconds. Two seconds. How can you get a car started in two seconds? How long does it take to put the key in your car and start it? If we had a key, we wouldn't have needed your help, genius. Oh? Without car keys? Yeah, what else? Are you talking about hot wiring? Do whatever the hell it is you want. Just get the car started. I know how to open car doors without keys, but I don't know anything about hot wiring. I don't know how to do that. So, stop <laughs> bluffing so much. <laughs> Who knows how to? Nobody knows how to do it. Um, I do. Are you from this city? No, I'm just visiting. He's Khalil's brother-in-law, station commander. Uh-huh. How long will it take to start a car without its key? It depends what kind of car it is. I don't think it'll take more than 30 to 40 seconds. Would it be all right if I tested you? No, it's fine by me. What about what? you? Yeah, it's fine, but um, the part I said it'll be done once you count to 10, 50% of that was a lie. But I promise by the time you've counted to 20, well, I've opened up the car door. Does the kind of car matter to you? From Porsche to Lamborghini to the Citroen C2 we're having to run, I can open all of them. That's enough. Enough with the monkey business. Come on, let's go. We've got work to do. Let's go. Come on, get out of here. Ready? Give me a second. Hurry up, man. 
Just wait, let me get my stuff. I bet you want me to tell the Arrakis to wait a second till you get your things right. No, yeah? you can go ahead and tell them I'll come back later. Enough with the monkey business. Okay, I'm ready. Go. Seconds. You have to lessen that, all right? I'll practice. Now it's your turn. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Good job. Go. me. Twenty-five seconds. You're a good driver too. Thank you. You have four to five hours to teach the guys how to start a car without its keys. All right. So, guys, anyone who wants to learn it, come and learn. I'll go check up on the garage and be back here soon. Keep an eye on the guys. They have to be there before it gets dark. What about dark. the cars? Send them to the school with one of the guys. Go on, don't worry about it. You didn't want to learn it? I do. Go ahead. I will. Go right now. Okay, now shift the gear into neutral. A tiny connection between the one color wire with the two color ones we connected to each other. The car will start. Come over here and see what he's doing. Ah, I'm fine right here. You sure you can learn from there? Yes, I'm sure. But I'm not sure you can. The amp. Taking questions. Bravo, guys. I told you for like a thousand times that if the same color wires get separated from each other, the car okay. will stop. Jahan. Yes. You take the car to the school. The rest of you follow me. Okay. Connect the wires with the same color to the red one and it'll start. Considering the things I've learned today and the guns we were holding, we can definitely pull off an armed robbery. The thing I was wondering is, where do you go to I rob? think we should rob the trucks. Ah. Oh, you thought we could rob the central banks of Baghdad. Hang on a second. Hang on. Didn't I tell you to get lost? Imad, you think just because you have a gun in your hand, you're the Cherokee of Kuram Shah? Who are you to tell me what to do and what not to do, huh? Don't make me break your Do soul. it. say you'd go to Abadan. Didn't I tell you my family is there? Why aren't you going? You're trying to send me on a wild goose chase. What do you want from me? Why won't you leave me alone? Look, Imad, this is how it is until you tell me the truth. I promise you, I give you my word. What are you two doing? Come on already. Give me your weapon. Take it. Aren't you going? You go ahead. Okay, Be careful. thanks. Thank you so much. I'm a minna. Into the. Narid. Nsamilkum ilamakan alakhar. I'm a minna. 
ديروا حاجه هنا ديروا معكم بالطريق انتم وياكم تعالوا هنا اجتمعوا هنا بسرعه صفوا النظام Those soldiers weren't here in the morning. This is just how this place is. In the morning, they come here and distribute their forces. Then when they leave, there's no sign of them till the next day. Did you tell Havez what to do exactly? He's waiting for our signal. Did you say I have to connect to the other one so the car would start? Why don't you ask Hassan? Hassan, tell him. Shh. Forget it. I know how to do it myself. Look here. My life isn't something you can jerk around just because you have a dispute with him. I stand by what I said and that's fine. Hassan, tell him. He's going to get us all killed if he carries on. Imad here is quite a skillful man. He knows how to do this. He doesn't need me. Stop worrying about me. I don't care what you think of me. It's interesting. Even when I admire you, you get offended. What's going on? They're leaving. to sleep until another group arrive. Still the station, Commander. Yes. Look, this friend of yours, his family, I mean Imad. Yeah. Do you know what happened to them? No, I don't. Do you have to think that hard for that? You could have said no. They're all doing fine, but his poor sister. His sister? Did something happen to our Efe? She fell on the floor with her face. And now her nose looks like a melon. You mean she broke her nose? Her nose. It was bleeding quite a lot. Well, thank God they're in 
Abaddon. And they're safe there. Abaddon? Yes. Haven't they gone to Abaddon? I don't know. What are you looking at? We have to put someone here, so he won't let the guards get out of the dormitory. I'll do it myself. How would you do it? Just send me a signal. I'll make sure to destroy them. So we wait till tonight. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Alpha has finished the job. You can't mess this up. They bring their forces here every morning and organize them. Nobody's probably going to come here until morning. You just have to pay close attention to the signal. If someone turns the car on sooner than the other, everything will be ruined. Are we going to school from here? Yeah, we'll go straight to the school. And we won't look back. I told Darius to be on standby, and when the cars get there, he'll take them in. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Hang on. Where are you going? You were saying something. What? How about done? Things are terrible down there too, man. نشست بر لبم خدایا ترانه های بی قراری شب از تو می چکد ز چشمم زلان چشم سال جاری صدای جاری She did.